All right, guys, I'm immediately jumping in with the next part here of Factory Town. So this guy finally made his way over. We're going to get it going here. Um, obviously, I have a project in mind to get it, you know, just get this stuff done. All right. Yeah, I definitely have enough space. He'll be able to find his way around. Uh, we're going to get that producing. That is a very slow process. One every eight seconds. Um, just is what it is. Going to feed him blue coins. It looks like our blue coins is going down. Did this? Pro I had a feeling this production was going to stop. And the other place was fish oil. So we're actually just going to keep this one going um, by putting in a farm. So we no longer need workers. That's great timing there. Great timing. Just getting ready to fire some people when you pop that up. All right. So we need a farm. Uh, I wish the farm, just the farm, just put the farm building there too, for real. That's where I go like all the time to find it. Um, yes, I'll take the automatic water supply. And then we just put the conveyor belt in that way. It's just one last thing I got to worry about. Uh, that's probably overkill. Uh, planting the herbs. Or herbs take red coins. I got plenty of red coins. All right. And then that will eventually start reproducing itself. We'll get our blue coins going again. That's what stopped it. Anyways. Uh, barn filling up with these mana crystals. Let's take a look at our plank thing over here because I know if I completely end this episode and don't check into it, when I come back next time, I'm not going to remember. All right. So we're going to do upgrade this. I definitely want tons stored here. That is enough for 600. I feel we're pretty confident if we can fill it with 600. Why are we not filling here? What in the world is going on? Oh, it's being eaten up right away. Is that already a metal bay conveyor belt? Ah, uh, it is. All right, let's let's speed you up because we need to have logs back stored. It can't, it cannot have, cannot not have logs back stored. All right, and that should make that back store pretty quick. Uh, one conveyor belt apparently is not enough. All right, that should fix our problems. A little heavy on the worker, but I need that barn full. All right, so we are making mana crystals. Yes, next thing is we need to get the mana bricks going here. So, buildings, we need, it's at the top, it has to be at the top. Not a workshop, stonemason. All right, bricks. And we're gonna make another one of you guys. Cause you're awesome. Um, I probably could have made a barn for a little back storage, but I probably should have. I think it's always, I think it's always a good practice. Actually, the more I think about it, I always put a barn down, store up the barn. Um, cause you're always going to need those resources. So just having them handy doesn't hurt anything. And when it depletes, it depletes. You're right. You just move on to the next resource. Eventually we're going to find a stone and we're going to put down a mine. And then that stone's going to be kind of permanent. But for right now, we're still temporary. There's plenty of stone on the, on the map. It's not like you ever run out. Like, this way, I've never had a problem where I've ran out of stone. Anyways, uh, let's see. All right. So now the magic forge, right? We got everything we need to do this. Yes. 10 seconds, blue, more blue coins, but our blue coins are going back up, so that's a good sign. All right, so I want a second forge for all this, and it also takes, which is great. Oh, great. And you are just, oh, magic. 
You are all about the bricks. All right, so we have to get the bricks across, which actually is not, oh, actually is going to be a little bit of a problem. All right. Oh, it's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Not a problem anymore. Not a problem. All right, move you, because I do want a backlog of this stuff. Put it like that. All right, we get a lot of resources back here by deleting this. Huh, they actually put the trees back. That's weird. All right, so while that's going, let's plan out getting this uh, coal across here. Like I said, it's going to be a little zigzag pattern, uh, but I do like the the prospect of just you know along the ridge line, keeping it for where I'll probably eventually build. All right, obviously we're gonna have to do something here. All right, first things first, let's push down. Uh, hopefully I did this correct. All right, so we're going to come out this way. Like I said, guys, it's going to be like a zigzag. All right, I guess we'll use these. Sorry guys, I'm a little quiet on this one. I'm just trying to concentrate because this one's a little, a little bit way different compared to anything else I've ever really done. And I'm trying to make it look like, okay, we actually had to build this stuff. Like it's not like, you know, floating in air. Like I said, it was going to zigzag, guys. There was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, going to look a little crazy. Hopefully, it doesn't turn out too bad. Like I said, I'm not like a great decorating person at all, uh, so it's not my forte. Uh, but like I said, I don't think some of the stuff I do turns out too bad. All right, and we wanted to come in like back behind these trees. I so will probably will have to get rid of some trees. All right, so let's delete these last two, just so I can see better. In case you guys are just catching this one, I'm not one who really likes to delete resources. It's kind of like uh, a last resort kind of thing with me. All right, so if we do down, down. Down there, down there, and then boom, we're on ground level. I like it. Oh. 
Uh, I mean, the problem is like I could plant trees to like hide this. Like if we're like down here level like to hide it. But the problem is, is that the trees that you plant don't look natural, right? They have that, that wonky base to them. Kind of like how you see here with um, these, right? They have these little wonky base. I don't know if I really, if I can make plant trees to make them look natural. Maybe they changed it. I'll double check here. Last time I played and tried it, like I said, they don't really, trees are not very decorative. What is going on here? We don't have enough metal conveyor belts. I ran out of metal conveyor belts. Well, I can delete these. I'm gonna have to take a look at my conveyor belt production, make sure it's not a bigger issue. And then because of that guy, Let's get a splitter. Um, logistics. Get a splitter there, and then we need a splitter here. All right, and that will fix those two other than getting the bricks over here. Uh, we'll let that go. Like, all right, let me see if I can plant natural trees. I'd really would like to do so if I can. Uh, let's go farming, mining. Plant tree? Can I plant a tree? No, I can't just plant a tree. Um, for science, let's get a tree planter. All right, and then let's plant a tree. All right, we'll let them grow in. But like I said, you just see this wonky base. I don't like it. I wish there was just a way to, to plant them, like to make them look natural. Um, what's going on here? How did I mess this up so much? Oh, let me just watch it through and make sure I didn't really mess up. I feel like I mess up a lot, and I, I don't know if it's because I'm recording for you guys or what, but I usually don't feel like I mess up this much. Um, but yeah, I like this. It just it completely avoids anywhere where I would normally build in cape of traffic or any kind of resource production. I really do like this. It's a little wonky that it zigzags, and I, like if I could hide it by the trees, that'd be nice. Like I'll hide it, like a tree line on this side, tree line on that side. It kind of gets hidden, and anyway, it's not much of like a weird looking eyesore. All right, it's going. All right. Problem solved. Man, you filled that barn in a hurry. All right, and then I really want to... That way. All right, so... Metal conveyor belts, uh, all right, what are we missing here? Gears. Why are we missing gears? It's just taking you forever to make them. So everything else is full. It's just a gear problem not being made fast enough. We'll speed that up by five workers. I feel like this, like, I know what we do. We need to add steam boosters. We really need to add a steam booster. I think that's going to be my next project. Um, this episode, we just don't have enough time to really run into it. I'm going to write myself a note. We're going to get into the steam boosters because that will make up for some of the extra workers that I'm putting into this stuff right now because it's getting a little ridiculous. Things are slowing down. I can't build as fast as I really want. And I honestly don't even feel like I'm building that fast. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, cool. Let's see if I do that, that, and then this. 
All right, cool deal. And then we're going to want another barn. We're going to point it out this way. Not a grabber, I just need a belt. And we'll store them like that until we figure out how many we really need. And that should work. And I think just, oh, actually I can't, I would say I could safety proof this, but I really can't because, well, reasons. Uh, the other problem is that we're gonna have a problem with uh, these being stored in here. I may have to end up deleting if there's a bunch of cloth conveyor belts being deleted. I hate deleting resources like that, but I really don't know how else to solve it. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, steam generator and stuff like that. I know this doesn't, the actual building itself doesn't really need to be generated. Um, Steam generator. Uh, it seems like it can be put anywhere. Cost a hundred of everything. You know what? Upgrade. Where's the other one? Upgrade. And let's go ahead and future proof this right here. Now we're going to open this up. Uh, I think we're just really going to dig into this stuff, guys. We need everything to move faster. Uh, I'm not even playing anymore. All right. So let me put down the steam generator. We'll take a look at it. Um, but I'll probably wait until a future episode to really get it going. Uh, where's a good location for this? I really don't want to have to move it. On top of the world. Uh, <laughs> uh. I'm thinking somewhere over here, but I already know I want it to go the whole way over here. So I think I want to start it over here. Um, there's no really flat ground. There's a flat ground up here. Uh. But just link it to water probably would save me a lot of hassle. Let's link it to some water. Oh. All right. Uh, this looks interesting. Very, very interesting. Ooh, baby. All right, do I need to? All right, can you get it out of this, please? Please, please, please get out of it. Nope. All right, got out of it. Um, it looks different to what I remember. Uh, I mean, don't I need a connector? Building. Sorry, guys. Like I said, this looks a little bit different. Okay, there's the fluid pipe connector, steam connector. So for like this, I would need. Oh, okay. But I can do it underground, right? I mean, I'm used to doing things underground. All right, for experimental purposes. I'm running out of time. We're going to do add a steam booster here real quick. All right. So then if I would go. No. Um, all right. So if I would go. Like that. That's not, all right, you guys can't see that. I feel like I need to connect, okay, it has a steam boost connector. I spent for it. This is not producing why it needs fuel. So, ooh, how many ways do I wanna keep splitting this off? I think for experimental purposes, we're gonna keep splitting it off here. Uh, 
All right. Alright, now let's see what happens. Alright, there it goes. It is being consumed. It's just not being... Not getting enough fuel at this point, which is something I knew was probably going to happen. Uh, so it may need its own source, which I can either get from up here or unlock more tiles. I'm pretty sure I'll find more coal patches um, up here. Eventually, we want to get the the fire temple going and get that magma. Uh, that is that just boosts everything through the roof. I do remember all that. Like I said, it's been a, a couple updates since last time I played, so there have been a few changes. So I'm trying to figure those out because obviously I'm getting into where the changes took place. Yes, a lot of stuff. But anyways, guys, I do appreciate you checking this one out. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.